welcome back friends we have uh, seen the basic introductory video about viruses we have also seen uh, the classification scheme of viruses and growth curve now in this video again this is a very very basic video about viruses and that is about the structure and shape of the viruses so shape sorry shape of viruses and a little bit about structure because we'll be doing a different video about the detailed video on structure of viruses but this is about the shape actually okay now the viral structure that we know usually it can consist of usually we have already talked about the when we talk about viruses it can it usually consists of uh, genetic material and and protein coat right so protein coat is providing a barrier or it's a coat uh, to hold those genetic material inside right now this is the second thing or this protein coat which is responsible for so responsible for structure of the viruses not this genetic material because genetic material present inside the virus right now when we talk about protein coat now this protein coat is called capsid right and in some some viruses there is an another extra extra layer and that is envelope right now envelope is also a part of structure okay but not the genetic material <clears throat> Now, depending upon the arrangement of this protein coat uh, surrounding the genetic material, it will vary in their shape and structure of the viruses, right? Now, depending upon that process, we can divide the virus in majorly two different types. One is, so two different types. One is icosahedral symmetry, icosahedral virus or icosahedral symmetric uh, obtaining viruses so it's a very very pure form of geometric uh, structure so let me draw the structure for you let us take uh, this color okay so i can draw the structure like this say this is and let's say this is like that and it is having a kind of let's say this is extended it is extended and extended and let's join this part let's join these parts okay this is a kind of icosahedron right this is how icosahedron usually looks like okay so this is a kind of icosahedron symmetry and structure and another type of virus can be helical helical virus now the helical virus when you talk about it is a, it is a very it is a very very simple kind so let me again draw the helical type it will be like this we all know how helix will look like so you don't need to bother about this one it will look something like that okay it will be much more compact in nature and having a helix like that it could be left-handed or right-handed okay so these are the major two type of structure uh, that viruses usually obtain now both of the case can be varied if they are coated with envelope or not for example icosahedral can have so they can have envelope or they cannot have envelope so sometimes they can have envelope or not so i'm do i am doing this envelope with this dotted line that means this envelope can be present or cannot be it may be or may not be present there so if it is present we call it icosahedral enveloped if it is not present we call it only icosahedral naked right so these are the two different terms icosahedral naked that means there is icosahedron symmetry of the protein code but there is no envelope so whenever you're talking about uh, that naked kind of virus that means no envelope naked means no envelope in this case okay and when we are talking about icosahedral envelope, that means it is having the envelope. Similarly, in case of helical, we can have helical non-envelope and we can also have helical envelope. Like, like this. Like this. Okay. So this is envelope. It can also be, it can also be in, sorry. 
enveloped or it may not be enveloped okay it can be naked also okay so these are the different types of virus shape and size now depending upon the type of virus we are talking about it it may have dna or rna as their genetic material right so we all know that dna can be genetic material rna can also be genetic material right and among the dna there are two different type of the dna one is a double stranded dna another one is a single stranded dna ds and single strand similarly for rna also it can be double stranded rna or single stranded rna now usually when you're talking about single stranded rna we can further divide it into two type one is a positive strand rna and negative strand rna we'll be talking all of these things later in detail but in this case let us learn usually in icosahedral naked type of viruses it can contain it may contain all the type of genetic material that means it can uh, contain dna single strand double strand rna single strand double strand but it will take only one type of genetic material at a time so if a virus is containing dna double stranded dna it should not have rna also along with double stranded dna it should only have one type of genetic material at a time just print this in your mind okay in case of dicosahedral in envelope type of viruses it usually does not have single stranded dna it usually have usually have a double stranded dna usually had single stranded rna and double stranded rna but not single stranded dna in case of the helical naked kind of virus also it is it it can contain single stranded dna double stranded dna and single stranded rna but it won't contain double stranded rna so in case of the helical naked so let me write the exception helical naked type of viruses does not contain does not contain double stranded rna does not contain double stranded rna yeah, on the other hand helical encapsulated or helical in envelope type of virus these are very very rare so helical enveloped virus these are really very rare very very rare and they won't contain except single stranded rna so these viruses are only single stranded rna containing virus only single stranded rna containing virus okay these are some properties of those viruses you can memorize or you may not but you should know that uh, at a time a virus particle will contain one type of genetic material but not more than one okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you